Hello guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to teach you how to create velvet with plain colors. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of velvet. This, this, is, this is something I, I downloaded online. Now this is how it behaves. This is how it is. It has, you know, different kind of, uh, different feeling. There's a dark part, lighter part, how it behaves with light, the fall off and all. I'm going to teach you how to create it with just colors, not textures, colors only. So this is what I'm going to teach you today. But before I proceed, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get a map click here to take you to the material browser so we're going to get a map go to map go to mix okay and we're going to click this click here To take us to the material browser then we'll click fall off okay now we are going to try to change the colors to what we actually want we want something bluish we want our material to be bluish now this is this is the mix okay this right here is supposed to be blue this dark blue and this right here will be white now then in this white portion when you go in we're going to also change the color to this same blue we have here then by copying this going to the fall off and then paste it here okay then what you're going to do next is copy this blue right here we want to make it lighter for this shade Okay. okay so we are going to copy copy this paste it here make sure you is on copy you paste the copy of it not instant okay then we are going to change this to white Okay, then we're going to go back again and copy this right here again. Go inside, go into the first one and paste it here. You paste the copy so that you can, if you want to make any adjustment, you can easily make any adjustment. So now this is it. By adjusting these colors, you will see how this behaves okay good now we are satisfied with these colors okay we are satisfied with how our, we are satisfied with our fall off now the next thing we are going to do is we must have a map okay we must have a map to work with this map i'm going to put it in the, the I'm going to put the link in the description below and I'm also going to after we've created this texture I'm also going to put the link in the description below so you can download okay so now we are going to locate a map this map helps us to you will see what this map looks 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 like by the time we locate it We're going to use this this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like as you can see you can see the difference you can see the effect 
so with this now we can you know go ahead and adjust our our fall off at the time you adjust your fall off you see what it looks like you you will see the effect okay Okay. Please note the first one, which is the darker one. You are going to put the first fall off, okay, which is blue and white. Then we are going to put another fall off, which is going to be the, the, the same dark blue and a shade of bl lighter blue. While for the lighter color the which is the white color just going to put the shade of the dark blue and the shade of a lighter blue now the reason is obviously on your screen right there you can see the effect okay now we are going to paste this on our chair copy and paste This is it. This is what it looks like. So we're going to render. Okay. Okay, this is what our map looks like. So the the you you notice that the 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 black and the fall off, which is the lighter part, would take this shape. So you can also increase the map. If you want or reduce it if you want so let's just render and see what we have as you can see can see the behavior of the effect on light so you see how realistic it's looking that is the that that is because of the fall off if we don't use fall off it's going to just appear plain you see the lighter shade here the darker shade here. now this looks like velvet if you also want to do a red shade all you have to do is change the color we are going to change the color right now to red uh, let's say we're going to use this this okay now copy this color okay copy this color again go into this paste this here and then paste the lighter shade of it here okay Okay, and that's that. You can copy this, paste it here. Okay, paste it here. So you can see. So we would adjust to suit what we want. Okay. Good. Now we can go ahead and render and see what it has, what it gives us. This is looking like bongondi, the color. I don't think it's red. It's bongondi. So this is a this is velvet. Okay, velvet. Look at the texture. Looks like suede. As you can see. So we are going to give it some you know pop map so you actually you will actually appreciate this texture so we're going to go back okay go back go back to your to the final 
V-way material. Then collapse this. Go to your map. Okay. Now go to Bob Map. Click and then select this under map. Select cellular. Okay. Now look at look at the effect on it. So you just change this the size. Okay, so that to make it smaller to point four. I think point four is fine. Now you can see the effect. You can see the effect. Okay, then we go back, and that's it. You can you might want to increase the you know the number of the effect, but I think that's too much. Thirty, right? Let's say 35 is fine. You can see what it gives us. So we, should, we can go ahead and render to show you what it looks like with pop. You can see the difference. We're feeling the texture right now. Now that's the difference. I'm going to I'm going to render without Bob. Or maybe let's pick it 40 or say 50. Let's say 50. Okay. I think it's too much. But let's let's see how it goes. Let's use 50 and see. Okay. Now let's render without text that pop so you can see the difference it looks fine but without the you know it just looks fine and plain it looks really nice and plain well this look at just check out the difference now this has some textures some you know rough edges on it you know like like a suede or something like that so this is how it is supposed to be so we might just go ahead and just reduce it to 40. Okay. You can change the color with your velvet. You can change the color if you want. Just like that. Just the fall off. Okay. So you just go ahead and when the Now this is pretty much how to create velvet okay all you all you need is the map this map right here and and the remaining thing you, all you just need is colors okay you can you can change colors just the way you want so I'm going to keep I'm going to put the map put the link of the map in the description I'm also going to put the link of this texture in the description. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to ask me any question. And don't forget to share to your friends. And also your social media. Don't forget to share. See you some other time. I remember Dubai John. Goodbye.